Welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit your sunset videos. Let's get into this. So right now I'm showing you guys the after. This is the one that I exported for their video I did previously on Thursday. So this is the S-Log3 footage right over here and then this is the edited footage. So this is just an adjustment layer. So I'm going to delete that, create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to this uh, new item button here. We're going to go down to adjustment layer and we're just going to leave the settings on like that. I'm going to drop that adjustment layer right there, resize it to a timeline, and then go to our color panel over here. So now we can start editing this video here. So we're just going to start by editing the temperature. We're going to warm it up just a little bit. Uh, we're going to add some contrast into this S log footage. We're going to bring down the highlights just a little bit, bring down the shadows, bring down the whites just a tad, shadows a little more down, the blacks a little more down, saturation can go to 110%, and then we can, that's done for the basic correction and creative. We can add a lot, I'm just going to add this one. I'm going to change that to 20%. I believe I did it uh, for that. My num lock is off. So 20% somewhere around there maybe. You don't want to go too strong on these effects because as you see in the corners over here, it does tr uh, start to be weird. So we're going to change the shadow tint to something more orangey, yellowish kind of thing. And then the highlights, we're going to change those to be a little more orange as well. Tent balance, we can play around with that, see what kind of balance we want. Maybe somewhere around 13 is going to be great. Uh, and then we're going to go down to curves. I'm going to add even more contrast here. Just a simple S curve. Not a strong S curve at all, just something small. And as you can see, we are already getting, getting where we want to be with our footage and how it looks. So we can even go to the HSL sliders and the vignetting if you want to add some vignetting but we're going to not do vignetting or HSL and we're also not going to need this so we can just cover that and then here we can go make a point there make a point there and just kind of move up the colors of the sunset let's go maybe back to normal correction Bring up the temperature to 17. Bring up the contrast again, so 25. Highlights down a little more. Maybe if you want it up, but we're gonna go a little, actually, we can do a little up. Somewhere in the low numbers. Maybe we can do two here. Maybe bring down the shadows a little bit. But that's pretty much it. You just want to make sure you make it look nice with some basic color correction. You do not want to go too crazy. Uh, maybe if we take off this light, you can see that we could do a little more work. But with the LUT, uh, it just makes it look a little more better from the S-Log footage. So again, this is your S-Log footage. And with just a little bit of tweaking around, you can get a better color. So I did that same thing, but differently over here in the vertical video that I shot you can check out that vlog I did up in the corner on the right you can see this video I made a very similar color not exactly to what I have here but it's just a simple adjustment layer with effects done over here I did some creative uh, effects over here so yeah it was 40% maybe we can just Change this up to 40. Add a little more hint of tint colors to it. We can maybe add four and add 18 temperature on the more on the warmer side. And then it's getting kind of more similar. This has more contrast and different color settings, but also it's different for every situation because as you can see, the sun is already down here. Let's go 200% the sun it's already pretty much gone from here and you want to make sure that your specific scene is lit uh, differently or color adjusted differently because of how the sun moves if you are doing sunset video 
Um, the sun is not down yet here, so it's brighter than the one over here. You have to do a little more compromise over here. So that's kind of what you do when you edit your sunset videos. You want to make sure to actually take the time to make it look good on your scenes. I did it quickly here, so maybe don't follow my steps to the T. Make sure yours fits your video clip. You don't want to make my adjustments and then they won't look good in your video clip. But if you do want to see them, they are over here. All the adjustments are over here if you really want to see them. I don't even really use these three last ones. And so I usually do the basic, the creative, and the curves if I do my video color correction or video color editing. So yeah, stick to those and you can get a really nice outcome from your video colors. So I just want to remind you guys, this was shot on S-Log, so I have a little more control over how the image looks with their color profiling and stuff like that. Just want to let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. My name is Alex Critical, and I'm here to teach you guys something new. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below.